Janica Chambers from Tasmania. Janica gained inspiration from the beautiful peacock. The top was formed by embellishing peacock feathers and sequins all over it to give the illusion of feathery peacock upper body. Narell Clerk from Queensland, a creation of over a thousand cards. Queen represents the extravagant lifestyle of the casino money world. Big, beautiful, lights and glamour. Holly Whitty from Victoria. This gown including a corset and a skirt has been made from Spotlight VIP cards, Spotlight bags and other recycled materials. Samantha Gustafsson from Queensland. This garment represents a girl falling in love, budding with new unknown feelings, wanting to give her heart to the one she loves. It is symbolised through the giving of a flower. Thea Depold from South Australia. The story of the tin soldier and ballerina is the inspiration for this garment. The garment symbolises the coming together of the tin soldier and the ballerina when they are in the fire melting together into one. Michelle Hocking from New South Wales. This three-piece outfit comprises of a sweetheart corset, ruffled underskirt and overskirt. The corset was completely hand felted from pure merino wool dyed purple and black. Emma Kroger from Western Australia. Emma's piece was inspired by the idea of an enchanted forest as she tried to capture the beauty and mystery of nature. Grace Ellie Richards from Tasmania. The executive style blazer with collar detailing and a skirt made entirely from school uniforms is used as a metaphor for success. On the full skirt made of patchworked uniforms are the stresses that pressure young people. My culture. Tiana Clark, Western Australia. The rugged red land, the raw rock formations of iron ore, these are the elements which shape and define our existence in the Pilbara. Bound by the large hill formation and coastal plains, Karatha accentuates a typical Australian outback. Lane Yuen from Queensland. The dress was inspired by the Chinese culture and the 12 zodiac signs. This dress is made out of basic lining and cream coloured doilies with the zodiac sign hand painted on with black gloss acrylic paint. Also the double stretch laces have been used for the trim across the top and along the back. Cassandra Hutchinson from Victoria. Made from black material, the bustle is made from pattern pieces. The whole dress has been worked up with all the things to do with sewing. Because sewing has been passed down throughout her family, it is something that links past to present. Kristen Jamison from Western Australia. Kristen's dress is a tribute to the memory of the Anzacs. The simple design of the casual calico dress is embedded with meaning and depth featuring photographs of soldiers and war mementos. Elmi van der West Heisen from Queensland. Elmi's outfit is a celebration of Australian pride and is made out of our very own globally respected Australian flag. Charlie Bond from Queensland. Charlie's garment's name is Blending of Cultures. Because she is a blend of both Aboriginal and Australian cultures, 
Charlie strongly reflects this in her design. First place also goes to Helene Herbert from South Australia for garment number 17. Thank you. And first place goes to Saskia Bowles Schmidt from Victoria. Thank you. And first place goes to Narelle Clerk from Queensland. Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to, to announce the overall winner of the ATFA final for 2008, Helena Herbert from South Australia, Northern Territory. Hey, there she is. Congratulations. Well done. Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
Well, that's it for this week and for this season. I hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as we have. Be sure to turn in again this time next year as we will once again be bringing you the top young designers Australia has to offer. If you want to appear in the 2009 Apex Australian Teenage Fashion Awards, visit our website and enter now.